Welcome to LCD's European Low Market Video Overview, detailing leverage finance trends and activity during September 2013. I'm Suchit Gupta, a member of S&P Capital IQ's Leverage Commentary and Data Team, a unit of McGraw-Hill Financial that is not affiliated with S&P Ratings. For the next few minutes, I'll walk you through a review of recent loan and high yield bond market trends in Europe before winding up with themes to watch for in October and early November 2013. Before we start, please know you can follow LCD on Twitter, Facebook, and you can join the over 11,000 contacts on the LCD's Leverage Loan Group on LinkedIn, as well as LeverageLoan.com and HighYieldBond.com, free websites promoting the loan and high yield bond asset classes. On it, you'll find recent market stats, news and analysis, high yield and leverage finance job postings, and online primers that explain key market terms. The links to our websites and to follow LCD's social channels are in the info section on our YouTube channel. You can also download the slides for this video at slideshare.net. The European leveraged finance markets, both primary and secondary, had a strong September. Loan issuance was $3.82 billion in September 2013, while high yield bond issuance was €7.1 billion Euros for the month. Secondary markets were up. Loan markets were up 30 bips to close at par 13, while high yield bond markets were up 132 bips to finish at 103.63. According to J.P. Morgan High Yield Research, estimated inflows into European high yield funds for September are estimated to be $391 million, bringing the year-to-date number of inflows to €3.1 billion. Euros. The S&P European Leverage Loan Index, the LE, was up for September with returns at 1.35%, slightly below the 1.45% seen in August 2013. This brings the year-to-date return to 6.15%. Just one CLO price this month, Carlyle's Global Market Strategies Europe, Euro CLO 2013-2, which was upsized to 336 million euros. Default rates were markedly lower for the month. Focusing on the secondary loan market, this chart details the average price of LCD's European loan flow name composite, a measure of the 12 largest most liquid loans consisting of 10 issuers since 2002. Secondary loan pl prices closed the month up 30 bips to finish at par 13. The flow names had risen as high as par 16 before sl slipping on the back of renewed political instability in Italy and the U.S. This next chart details the average price of LCD's European high yield bond flow name composite, a measure of the 12 most liquid high yield issues since the beginning of the year 2010. The high yield bond market was up 132 bips in September to finish the month at 103.63. As with the secondary loan market, the secondary high yield market softened a little towards the end of the month on the back of political instability in Italy and the U.S. This chart details the monthly return of the LE, a broad measure of European loan market returns that LCD calculates. All returns are X currency unless otherwise stated. The LE was up 1.35% for September 2013, down slightly from the 1.45% seen in August, this brings the year-to-date return to 6.15%. This is compared to 7.33% for the first nine months of the year last year. Now we turn from the secondary to the primary. This graph details new issue volume for both leveraged loans and high-yield bonds. September saw a healthy run of deals push into the European loan market, with 15 transactions launching during the month. Investors happily devoured what was laid in front of them, including LBOs such as Campbell Soup, Skrill, and Chesapeake. September also bought the huge cross-border buyout financing for Dell. The firm upsized its loan package, including the European portion, which was up to 700 million euros, after stripping out a planned second lien note tranche. This activity takes the year-to-date loan volume to 54.7 billion euros, a huge 166% increase from last year, with September contributing 3.82 billion euros. Over on the high yield side, the highly liquid market continues to attract issuers. Although there have been some complaints that September's crop included too few true high yield benchmark issues and too many crossover and or small size deals, total volume ran up to 7.1 billion euros from 17 transactions. This takes high yield bond volume to almost 55 billion euros. This is the highest level since LCD started tracking high yield bond issuance back in 2006 for Europe. The default rate by principal amount was down to 3.1% at the end of September from 4.2% at the end of August 2013. The default rate by issuer count fell to 5.6% at the end of September from 6.1% at the end of August 2013. Themes to watch for going forward. 
The forward calendar for new M&A transactions still leaves a lot to be desired, and with the end of the year approaching, parties might just hold out on transactions till next year. The CLO forward calendar is still strong. As of last week, LCD counted seven transactions totaling 2.4 billion euros. However, even with the increase in new issue CLOs, there's still a significant shortfall that needs to be made up due to the sheer number of CLOs that will be passed every investment period in the next few months. That brings us to the end of our overview. I hope you found it informative. We'll update the analysis each month and plan to have analysis of other specific European market segments going forward. Check out LCD's YouTube page for other video analysis of the leveraged finance market, including U.S. loan market wrap-ups. The link to the page is in our description for this video. For more information on LCD's news for research in Europe, you can contact Anna Cini. You can email her by clicking on the link in the info box. Thanks very much. We'll see you soon.